Hey guys, welcome back to Exposed Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about an option to customize your notification panel transparency. <laughs> Let's check it out. First thing we want to do is download and install the actual module. We'll go into our Exposed Installer repository, we'll go, actually the application itself. Download Blurred System UI, current version is 1.4, actually the, the update just got pushed not that long ago. Once you have that on, turn it on and actually go into the application. The main interface is pretty simple. You have the ability of turning it on, turning it off. I have it on obviously since I'm using it. You also have the ability to set up a few things here. Um, all the options at the bottom are already turned on. By default, you have the ability of turning them off. Uh, the main thing you have here is the bitmap scale. It's already preset. The blur radius, it comes in with four. You have the ability of changing it. I personally like to keep it at three just from a personal preference, uh, but you're able to go all the way to 25, which makes things very, very blurry in the background. Color filter, that's just basically the aesthetics of what it does. If you notice, it has somewhat of a grayish tone right now, and that's due to this. You're able to go in, select, um, I mean, I personally have the blue coloring in here, and I can just go here, uh, maybe just slightly lighter, and then select the color. You can change that there, and when you bring it down the next time, you'll see it has more of a bluish tint. Uh, blur process time, this is more for analytics. You don't have to necessarily worry about it too much. If you do, you click that and then it'll start you know, collecting the information. Translucent background here, this is mostly for notifications. As you notice, the notification comes in and it's actually translucent. The reason why this quick access toggle isn't because this is a third party application. That's why it's not showing up. Uh, but overall, I can always go back here and it still keeps the same setup. Uh, fade in and fade out, uh, blur effect, and that's starting margin and uh, start margin landscape. That's just more of a configuration that you get. Really, the interface that you want to really work with here is pretty simple. You can actually use it on anywhere in the in your system. You're in the app drawer and then you bring it down, you get the translucent functionality. Uh, also works in landscape. Currently doesn't support uh, tablet UI, but in the next future iterations, you will be able to do that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is this isn't actually a, uh, an automatic running thing and I mean that by uh, it doesn't actually show you the live background behind the notification panel. So an example would be I'll go ahead and launch Nest. I'll bring this down. You notice here in the coloring it's blue. It doesn't actually show that there's any text behind it. But of course if I raise it real quick you can see here that there's some text and it doesn't show that here. So keep in mind it's really just pulling the, an image from the last time you pulled down your notification and now that I bring it that back down you can see that there's supposed to be a button there and things are in that area. Uh, still overall from an aesthetics point of view I think it works pretty well. Keep in mind that this is a TouchWiz device so if you're running a closer uh, to AOSP based ROM uh, you'll have a much better experience with this because it actually makes everything translucent and you're able to actually get a much more better see-through functionality out of this module. So as you guys know, a lot of us like to use exposed modules to be able to customize our device and do many things to it. This specific module really interfaces with your transparency levels of your notification panel, either be it the quick toggles or even just the normal notification panel. I tested it out for you guys here on the Note 3. You guys saw it works pretty well from the aesthetics. Uh, again, depending on how many things you have persistent on your notification, you may have less things. So in my case, I have like Tasker and so on and different applications that start kind of building up on my notification. I removed all the notification, persistent notification options in there, and I was able to enjoy this actually more. As far as customizations, it still has some ways to go as far as what it interacts, the compatibility with more options. Currently doesn't support tablet UI that's coming up in the near future, but keep in mind the actual interface itself and what it does, pretty simple, straight to the point really, uh, gives you what you need. Uh, customization and is something that you actually will see more often than others essentially is because you use your notification panel all the time. So let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe to this channel as usual. Like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys soon.